Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and our guest, we're so glad to have you here today. A ball. We've all tossed a ball, right? Gotcha. What will happen if I let go of this ball? What principle made that happen, Anthony? Gravity. Gravity. Does that work every time? Is there a time that that will not work? Actually, in well, space, but here on Earth, that will work every time, will it not? Got a barbell here. If I just continued, not huh? Not in the water. If I it, uh, always got a smart aleck in the class, right? A brainiac. <laughs> Said on Earth. So if I do this enough times, what's going to happen to my bicep? It will grow. What, prin what principle is that? Anybody? Why will that muscle grow? It's, it's Actually, I'm looking for the word that starts with the letter A. Anybody? You don't know that? It's adaptation. And there's another principle at play here. And I'll give you a hint. We talked about it at the first of the meeting. What other principles at play here? Will adaptation work to grow this without the first principle of gravity, right? <clears throat> we live our lives through principles. Let me share a story that's very meaningful to me, and I hope I get through it without crying. There was a young man. This was many, many years ago, before the Industrial Revolution. And he left his mother and father's, and he says, I want to go out in the world, and I want to own a farm. He didn't have any money to buy a farm. What does he do? He goes to one of the very wealthy elders of the community, and he says, can I borrow some money? I want to buy a farm. Yes, you can. Here is your money. I need to be repaid. I need to have a repayment term, and the first payment's a year from now. Thank you, sir. I will do that. So the young man buys his farm, builds a home, and he's very industrial. He's trying to get the field ready to um, plant, and his friends come by, both youthful friends and him. Come, come on, come play with us. We're going to go to town. And he would say, no, I got to do my farming. No, come on. Okay, I can leave for a little bit. So the young man gets in the wagon and they go off to town. He doesn't get back to the farm for a couple of days, obviously. He gets back. He misses some planting time. And this continues. His friends come by, he goes and plays. His friends come by, he goes and plays. Just what, you know, youth, youthful learning. And that happened all the way up into the harvest. What little bit he did get planted when he wasn't playing, now the harvest comes and his friends said, let's go play. There's a big thing in town. The girls will be there. All the guys know, you hop in the car and you go chase the girls, right? That's what he did. He was gone a few days. What happens? There's a frost, kills the crop. Zero income that year on that farm. The elder he borrowed the money from. Sir, young man, where is my payment? I, I don't have it. I did this, I did this, I did this. That wasn't our agreement. And you know what the law is. The law says you go to debtor's prison. But sir, if I go to prison, I will never be able to repay you. And that's right. And I'll get your farm as repayment. Can you imagine the feeling of this young man? And yet, another elder in the community, quiet, kind elder, overheard the conversation. And he interjects himself with the debtor and the daddy. And he said, sir, I understand that this young man owes you money. That's right. And he can't pay. He's going to prison, and I'm going to own his farm. 
sir, I don't know all the laws, but if I pay you, will that satisfy debt? Yes. Justice demanded that this young man go to prison. But mercy overcame that. So this young man was so happy that this quiet, kind elder paid. I will repay you, sir. And he says, young man, your debt is paid in full, not by me, but by one who is greater than me. Sir, I can't believe that. Tears down his eyes. That changed that young man the rest of his life. He worked his farm. He earned money. He helped other people. And if you think about the principle of mercy, it always works. Because there's a greater principle above the principle of mercy. It's unconditional love. If he would have went to debtor's prison, the young man probably wouldn't have gotten changed. But he didn't go to prison as a result of unconditional love and mercy of this quiet, kind elder in your life. If you're looking to be a leader and to change people, which principle is better? Justice or mercy? Mr. Toastmaster. Well done. Yeah. Well done, Mike. Thank you. Our next speaker.